I think when you receive a cancer diagnosis, it is devastating. There's no doubt about it. It does change your life. And that, that day um, in September 2009 has changed my life forever. So I'm Laura Boyd and I'm the entertainment reporter for STV News and I'm also living with cancer and it's World Cancer Day so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. I've been feeling a bit run down, went to the doctors, they did some blood tests, they thought you know maybe had like possibly Crohn's or IBS or something like that that was, that was kind of flaring up my stomach. Um, the results came back that day and I was told to go back down to the doctors, went not thinking anything of it and um, he told me I had cancer and it literally hit me like a lightning bolt which sounds so cliche but from that moment my life changed forever and my lasting memory of being in that doctor's surgery is saying well am I going to die and the doctor said we all die dear. From then on, the next few months and weeks go by in a blur as well. I had a lot of tests to determine what type of cancer I had, but I was a mess. I just didn't know what was going to happen. And I remember standing in a shop and it was September, but it was, stuff was starting to come in for Christmas and I love Christmas. And I remember thinking, I'm not going to get to see another Christmas. And it was, it was a terrifying few months, um, but slowly but surely, we got my treatment on track and I learned that I was going to be taking chemotherapy in tablet form every day. Um, it took quite a bit of time to, to get the, the cancer under control, um, but maybe about five months or so on, I started to feel more like myself. People don't know how to react really when you say you've got cancer and I actually don't know how they should react because even going through it myself, when people tell me I still don't know what to say, I don't think there's any right or wrong answer. Uh, I remember my friends organised a lunch and we all went along to that and it felt like I was being at my own week because everyone was being really nice about me, they, they were kind of on tiptoes on eggshells as to what to say. I think in my job on, on TV. I'm quite bubbly and kind of dolly and out there. Um, and I think a lot of people think that I'm cured. I've got friends who's, who think I'm cured, but I'm not. I'm still very much living with cancer. It's just controlled. If you're a teenager or you're in your 20s, 30s, and you're diagnosed with cancer, you just, well, nobody ever expects it's gonna happen to them, do they? But I think especially when you're younger, you think you're invincible. Um, it's terrifying. The one bit of advice I would give is don't give up. Even if the prognosis isn't good, I mean mine, I don't know what's going to happen, but I can look out there and see that there are things I can do to fight it. A lot of people don't like that terminology of fighting it and, and maybe that is wrong, but for me it's just that thing of like, you know, I'm not going to let this thing get me down. I'm going to push it and, and really live my life to the full. And I would say to anyone who is going through it, then, then try and do that. Try and give yourself that kind of push to go on because life can carry on and you really should make the most of it.